Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, back here with another video. This is episode 33 in the Trading 212 Portfolio Updates. Hope everyone's having a great week. And if you're watching this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 500 subscribers, which is insane. So today we're gonna go through the auto invest feature, Trading 212's launched. And we're gonna go through the, yeah, so we're gonna go through how the, uh, how the stocks have performed over the week, particularly ones that have been doing really well, a few that have caught my eye, and um, stocks that have sold, dividends, and yeah, let's just get started. As you can see, the portfolio is now at £6,430.97p. I've invested £6,552.82p. I'm down £121.99p. That's 1.86% in the red. So essentially, if we look at the start of the week on a Saturday when the markets closed last week, it was actually at £6,903.63p. I was actually up 5. Oops, let me just get that, 5.73%. So it has taken a little bit of a tumble this week. So yeah, let's just dive in and we're just gonna go run through Auto Invest Pi. So Trading212 has launched a new feature which is called Pies. So it basically is a, an auto reinvest feature so which you can contribute on a regular basis. So we'll just run through the one that I've set up at the moment. So for example, you can see that the value is nine pound and 63p so it's actually gone down 3.7 percent since i started it so let's go into the holdings i've got the three shares that i want to invest on a regular basis which is alphabet class a vanguard s p 500 etf nei shares core s p 500 so if we just edit so for example you can see that 35 percent of my regular contributions will go to alphabet 35 percent will also go to the s p 500 vanguard and 30% will go to the iShares Core S&P 500. And so in the last five years, the average annual return is about 16.5%, which is really high, but I don't think that is going to be realistic at this point. But it's something worth noting. Anyway, let's go back out of this. So this is actually a really good feature for people that want to invest regularly on a particular number of stocks so essentially it's dollar cost averaging so i've chosen um two etfs and the and google to dollar cost average so i think for me that is a pretty good um option because i do want to increase my holdings in etfs on a regular basis so i can just build up my etfs in the S&P 500. I also wanted um, to increase my position in Google, so I figured those three are pretty good for me anyway. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, what have you? What pies have you created, and what stocks are in those pies? I'd be interested to know. Leave a comment down below. Anyway, let's just get over to the main part, the portfolio update. So I want to go through a few stocks. Um, particularly that have been, I guess, fairly volatile, I guess. So particularly the airline stocks. So Boeing has had a really, I don't know, a mixed week, I'd say, over the week. So it did hit around $232 at the start of the week, and now it's at 189 The other stock that I want to talk about is NEO. So NEO has actually had a really good week. In the last week, it is up 9.29%. In the month, it's up 68%. So in the month, it's up 68%, but I'm actually, I was actually up 86%. So I decided to close my position in this. I sold it at six pounds and eight P. And I just decided, you know what? I'm 86% up, I'm gonna get rid of it. And if it does drop back to about $3, I'll probably buy it again and um, see where it goes but for now I think I'm not going to um, hold on to that so I do want to also try and reduce my exposure to Chinese stocks especially with about stricter 
regulations on international stocks for the US market. So I think that is something that um, should be looked into or, or made aware of. The other thing is New River Re. I am actually looking to increase my position in this. Um, I think if it drops below 67p on Monday, I think I'll buy another 50 shares. I do want to get to around 500. I think I did mention that in the last video. Um, I'm also looking to increase my position in Aviva. I think if it drops to... Um, 260 i think i'll buy another 10 shares i think in aviva just to make it to 180 um and if it drops below that i'll probably round it up to 200 shares but for now i'll be keeping an eye on that and just seeing how that stock performs other stocks that um i've also like i said in my last video uh, i was planning to open a position in a realty income i did purchase this on thursday i've got one share i'm up two pounds and seven p that's four pound and 49 percent in the green and my average price is at 58 dollars and 23 cents which isn't too bad so hopefully that I will continue to add to that. So I think Microsoft is a great stock. It is um, something that I plan to hold for the long run. They do um, make great products, great services, you know, they're ranging from Microsoft Teams to Office 365 to uh, gaming, uh, even in desktop computers like the Surface Range or even the operating system as well. So they do have a really good model that I think it works as well. Anyway, I've got 1.55 shares. I'm up £22.21p. and That's 10.59% in the green. My average price is $174.48. They did pay a dividend today. So I've got, uh, as I said, I've got 1.55 shares. Um, amount per share they paid is 43 cents, which equated to 53p. I think this might be a bug on trading 212 where it says a number of shares. It just rounds up to the nearest whole number. So I don't own two shares, but I do own 1.55. So yeah, um, that's probably something that they need to fix. The other share that I want to talk about is... So Telefonica has had quite a bumpy week. Um, if we look at it, it has gone up to almost five dollars not quite it was at like 4.997 or 994 i guess so it is um getting there it is climbing looking at the week um sorry the month is up 4.6 percent so it's heading in the direction that i want which is good they have also announced a, a dividend um they plan they are going x on wednesday the 17th of june and the payday is Friday 19th of June. They are paying 20 cents per share. So I should be expecting around 4 euros and 40 cents maybe. So obviously with the exchange rate and then I guess they have uh, withholding tax. I'll probably expect just under 3 quid I guess. Don't If you're watching this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 500 subscribers, which is insane. So thanks again for everyone who subscribed. Really do appreciate it. So I guess the question for the video this week is, um, how have you diversified your portfolio? Are you Is it a split between UK and US stocks? Is it a split between growth and dividend? I'd be interested to know how you guys manage your portfolio. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, see you in the next one.